What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Rich Barber TV. I'm here with this week's episode number 15. And uh, today's episode is very important. The, uh, the subject that I want to talk about is barber terminology, haircut terminology. And uh, this is an important one because you have to realize that everybody uses different terminology. And And every time you get a new customer, you have to make sure that you're giving them what they're asking for if they are asking you for a specific haircut or style, all right? Now, you you know, you're always going to kind of put your own um, touch on things or kind of give them, like, consulting and kind of give them, like, advice on what will look best on them, too. When they get in my chair, this is what I do. So, I kind of, I turn them around, face them towards the mirror. I look at them and I say, um, what kind of haircut? are you looking to get, what type of style. And um, they'll usually reply with like maybe a fade or a taper or something like that. And I would also look at their hair too and kind of see like what was the previous style or cut they probably had too because they probably want to do that. They, they probably just want me to do it. And but um, So I'll look at that. And then when they say fade, um, I will always confirm like what you know what type of fade is it a ball fade shadow fade high fade low fade um and if they say um like a medium fade or high fade i would kind of even give them go deeper into it okay so you want it like midway right here you still want the line you want this line coming down or do you want a little loop and then it blends all the way out and uh and i'll just break it down until i get exactly what he wants if, if he says he wants a little off the top and he doesn't know what guards to use or, or what previous guards to use or that the, his other barber used and sometimes even with the guards the uh, terminology is different some people call like I call a zero a one because it's the first guard is one sixteenth so, so when it comes to like the lengths of the hair so for instance if they have their hair is kind of long and they say they want some off they want to take it down to the waves or whatever or whatever it is I'm like you know if they don't know the guard or if you know, I'll suggest things to them, or I'll be like, so you want like about half off, or you want more than half, you want a quarter off, um, and then I'll let them like, you know, the, the, the fine tune like what they want, you know what I mean? And um, if they want a taper, is it a, is it a high taper, is it a low taper, is it a medium, like regular taper? And then I gotta know that my, um, my, my perspective may not be theirs, so um, in this t new time of uh, technology, it's always good to pull up a picture. All you gotta do is pull up a hashtag and also show and get confirmation that way. Um, and, uh, and as you break it down, break it down, then you'll get like a good picture of what they really want. And then from there, I do my job as far as like, okay, I look at him and be like, what's gonna look best on him according to what he's looking to get, the look he's looking for, and putting my touch on it to really fine tune it and give him my expertise and really give him the results that he's looking for. But at the same time, it has my touch on it to where um, it enhances it and really bring out the look that he's looking for and the feeling that he's looking to get with the haircut. Now, it's very important to not just jump into it because terminology is different for damn near, it could be shop to shop sometimes. You know what I mean? And because uh, recently I got a guy in my chair this week and he said he wanted a fade but we figured out as I broke things down and did that uh, approach that he really wanted a taper, but with uh, like a taper fade, but not like fully, it was a ball taper, but not fully uh, balled around the edges here, but it was more tighter, so it has a cleaner look and it tapered in the back also. Um, you can check out this photo right here, and this is basically what he wanted. And um, so if I would've just jumped in and gave him a ball fade, I mean, it wouldn't have been what he wanted because I would've like balled the whole circle thing around and then blended that out and he would've been like, you know, this ain't what I wanted. But it's gonna be like, I'm like that's what we call it. <laughs> so you gotta know that terminology differs and it could be from shop to shop. Like, and that, that's in my city. He went to a previous shop in my city and the terminology that he used, but he just didn't really know what he got anyway. So sometimes they don't even know what they get. You know, so always pull up a picture, always break it down, questions, 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 ask questions, because a lot of times the customers don't know exactly what they want. They just have an idea. And um, 
So if you can pull up a picture, if you can ask questions, you'll always make sure that you give them the look that they're looking for, and then you can always add your touch and really bring it out to where um, you can give them the best look that they're looking for. No, terminology, sizing, and guards, and clippers, and all these things, it's all different for different people, and there's no real set way of uh, doing things sometimes. So you want to make sure that you ask questions. It's an evolving industry that's having a lot of things evolving, haircut styles and different things. You want to make sure that you uh, are in tune with what's going on and that you can communicate it properly to your customer. I'm Chuka the Barber. This has been another week of the Rich Barber TV. It's every week we got it popping on my channel. Good game knowledge information to help take your barber career to the next level and help you succeed. Any suggestions, any feedback, please put it in the comment area. I'll, call, I'll catch y'all next week with another episode of the Rich Barber TV. Peace.